Hi friends, welcome back to another video. I'm Fabio and today I have a 15 minutes morning yoga routine for you. If you're ready, jump on your mat and let's do it. We'll begin today in Sukhasana, our cross-legged position. So make your way there, settle in, feel your body nicely grounded and start lengthening your spine. Follow the flow of energy rising from the base of your spine up to the crown of your head. Let the breath flow easily in and out through your nose and notice how you feel right now. Keep the focus on the breath for the next few moments. Whenever you're ready, you can join the hands at the heart, setting an intention for uh, today's practice, a short positive affirmation that will help you during today's class. Listen to the voice that is coming from your heart. There's no right or wrong here. There's no judgment. Keep the focus on that intention. And release when you're ready. And still from your seated position, we're going to lengthen the spine, make any small movements in order to feel a little more comfortable and release some of the tension from the low back and your hips. Now take a deep breath in, lift the sternum up, arch the back and exhale, look towards your belly. We'll be repeating this a few times, inhaling to open the chest, arching the back and exhale, looking down. Inhale, one more time to lift. And exhale to round the spine, looking towards the navel. And one last time, inhale, arching the back. Exhale, looking down towards the belly. Now find length in your back. Feel the energy rising up from the base of your spine up to the crown of the head. Take a big breath in, lift your arms up, open the shoulders and exhale to twist towards the right side. Let the breath flow easily in and out through the nose as you keep following that energy rising to the crown of your head. The hands are there to support you and to deepen the pose if needed. Come back to center and gently fold forward, lowering the forehead towards the ground. Once you land there, feel free to make any small movements, maybe gentle rock side to side to help your hips release even more. Listen to your breath. And slowly inhale to come back to center. Long spine, lift your arms up. And this time we'll be twisting to the other side, towards your left. Again, keeping the spine long and maybe looking over the left shoulder to deepen the twist. Keep the connection to the ground. Feel both sit bones equally grounded. Take one more deep breath in and release to center, folding forward one more time on your next exhalation. You may be able to go a little deeper in this one. You can also walk your fingertips forward a little more. And then gently roll on top of your knees to come to a comfortable table top position. You can also swing your legs around if your knees are sensitive. Once you're here, find a long spine. Inhale, arch the back, look forward. Exhale, round through each vertebra, looking towards your belly, just like we did in our seated position. Inhale, let's repeat this a few times, arch the back. Exhale, 
round through each vertebra, enjoying the journey of your breath, of your movement, inhale to arch, and exhale, rounding the spine, making the movement a little bigger each single time. Let's repeat this again, inhale to arch, and exhale, rounding your back. Now find a neutral spine, long line of energy, tuck your toes under, adjust your hands if needed and lift your hips back into your first downward facing dog of today. Focus on maintaining a long spine, have a generous bend in your knees to allow your legs to release tension slowly and with ease. Melt your heels towards the ground without locking the legs. Opening through the shoulders. Fingertips are pressing down into the earth. Slowly shift your weight forward into plank position, lower the knees down and then reach back once again for your downward facing dog moving with control, taking all the time you need. And maybe finding a little more length in your legs for this one. Go back to your intention if you lost it. Take a big breath in, shift your weight forward into plank pose and this time we'll be lowering down into chaturanga Lowering all the way to the mat, point your toes, adjust your hands and lift your chest up into a cobra position. Tuck the elbows towards your body, look forward. Use your hands for support, but mainly the muscles of your back to lift up. Exhale, release to the ground, tuck your toes under. Press back up into plank position nice and strong and then back into downward facing dog. Explore the pose if you need to make small movements. Maybe deepening the breath a little more. Lift your right leg up towards the sky, take a deep breath in and then take a giant step forward in between your hands or towards that direction. Lower the back knee down. Build your foundation from the ground up. Slowly inhale, lift your chest up and reach your arms towards the sky, fingertips alive. Strong in your legs. Deep breaths in and out through the nose. Allow the hips to sink gently towards the ground. Exhale, ground your hands. Lift the back knee off the floor and lift the right arm up to twist. The right knee is still tracking forward right on top of the toes. The back leg is extended and your gaze is towards the hand that is in the air. Exhale, lower the right hand to the ground and we'll be twisting to the other side, lifting the left arm up, looking towards your fingertips. Keeping your foundation nice and strong, your breath deep. Exhale, release the hands down, lower the back knee on the floor and extend the front leg, shifting the weight slightly backwards. Fold forward keeping a long spine and look towards your toes. Keep the breath flowing. On your next exhalation, you can round your spine, reaching the forehead towards your shin. Relax in this pose. And if it is too intense for you this morning, then you can have a generous bend in your front knee. Slowly shift the weight forward, lift the back knee off the floor and bring all your weight on the front leg, lifting the back foot off the mat. 
maybe lifting your hands off the mat as well. One line from the foot to the crown of the head, inhale, come to standing. Bring the left ankle on your right thigh. Sit back into a standing pigeon pose, hands at the heart, left hip opening. Let the breath flow, look forward. Hold it here. Great pose to open the hips. Inhale, release. Arch the back at the top of your inhalation and exhale to fold forward. You can now step back one foot at a time and reach your hips back into downward facing dog. Deepen the breath. Explore the pose in a deeper way. Inhale, shift your weight forward into plank. Exhale, release to the ground. Point your toes and arch the back into your cobra using the muscles of your back. Exhale, lower down. Lift into plank pose and then exhale back into downward facing dog. Breathe and reconnect to your intention. And when you're ready, lift the left leg up, flex the foot, inhale, exhale, giant step in between your hands, lowering the back knee on the floor. Set your foundation and inhale to reach your arms up, looking between your hands. Let the hips sink forward and down towards the floor. Hold it here, nice and strong. Exhale, bring the hands down on the earth. Lift the back knee off the floor and reach the left arm up towards the sky, looking towards your fingers. Remember to breathe. Exhale, hand on the ground. Inhale, lifting the right arm up. Same thing to the other side. When you're ready, release the hands on the floor, lower the back knee down and shift your weight back, extending the left leg. Flex the foot, look forward, exhale, reach forward with the crown of your head and look towards your foot. Become aware of the muscles that are engaged. Take a big exhalation and release the forehead towards your shin, rounding the spine. Can you feel the breath in your rib cage? Now shift your weight forward and lift the back knee off the mat. And when you're ready, lift the back foot off the floor, bring the hands to the heart, find your balance and try to keep one line from the back heel to the crown of your head. Inhale, come up to standing and bring the right ankle on your left thigh. Send your hips back into a standing pigeon pose. Look forward. Great opening for your right hip. Keep your focus steady. Keep your intention active, inhale, come out of the pose, at the peak of your inhalation, arch your back and then exhale to fold forward. Step back one foot at a time and lower all the way to your mat. Point your toes, inhale, arch the back, maybe this time going a little higher into a full upward facing dog. Deep breaths in and out through the nose, strong in your arms, long in your neck. Exhale, gently release into child's pose, sitting back on your heels, lowering the forehead to the ground and keeping the arms extended forward. Feel the breath flowing in the back of your body 
and feel free to stay in this position for as long as you'd like. When you're ready, you can uh, gently release and come to a seated position on your mat, just like we did at the beginning of class. Once you're there, close your eyes, rest your hands on your knees. Exhale all the unwanted tension that you may still be holding on to. You may now join the hands at the heart, bowing your head towards your fingers. Reminding yourself of the intention that you set at the very beginning of class. An intention that now can stay with you for the rest of your day. Let it sink in. From my great soul to your great soul, Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me today and sharing your energy. I will see you all next week.